A few years ago, way before we met, I remember being broken and tired of being let down by love. At church one Sunday, the preacher was speaking on being specific in prayer so that when we speak to the Lord in prayer, we tell Him our needs and exactly what we want specifically. I remember going home that afternoon and during my prayer time, I wrote down what I specifically wanted and needed for my future husband. Now my list was extremely long, <laughs> but I have shortened it for time's sake. He must accept, love, and respect my three boys, Kate, Cohen, and Kyler, as his own. Love them and never make them feel second or unimportant in his life. And that when he took my hand in marriage, in the title of my husband, he would become the best father he could be to them. About 11 years ago, we were sitting in my car and she had dated a bunch of losers. And I said, you know what you need? You need a good old country boy. And she goes, oh no, that ain't never gonna happen. I said, yeah, some cowboy boots, a tractor. She was like, nip, nip. She's like, I was like, never say never. She goes, oh no, I will never, ever, ever date anybody that has cowboy boots drives a tractor, has a twang, it ain't happening. I can promise you that as God is my witness, it ain't happening. Uh, but I've, I've known Michelle since they first started hanging out. And uh, if, there's, if there's two people in this world that are meant to be together, it's got to be these two people here because they are the most hard-headedest, arguingest people I have ever met in my life. And uh, God willing, they have been put together. It's, it's, it's got to be the only way they can be because the Lord has, has put you here for each other. And uh, to see you two grow together, and see the kids, see your bird become a, a dad to all the boys, it, it makes me happy. Today will be perfect in every single way. A beautiful fairy tale for our wedding day. The theme of our day is to have love and laughter and to live our days happily ever after. Living happy is what we need to survive, so how does one keep the magic alive? How do you light a spark that never goes out? And how does one live a life without fear or doubt? What do you need to do to stay in love forever? and make each day special and grow fonder together? Well, these very questions we must address every day. We must take the time to go out of our way, to share love and always share laughter, to do whatever it takes to live happily ever after. Here's a recipe I think is a must. So let's begin with always having trust. Don't forget it's important to have respect and to always stay loyal to keep our love perfect. We must communicate each and every day these special little words we must never forget to say. I love you. It's amazing how these words make you feel happy, safe, and valued, and that will keep our love real. A simple act of kindness goes a long, long way, blended with understanding, and we can't go astray. Don't forget friendship. It will help us to cope. 
add a sprinkle of faith and an abundance of hope. Remember to smile. It's beautiful to see. It can brighten one day and make you feel free. So my wish for you is always to have love and laughter. And I pray I will always be your happily ever after. What therefore God hath joined together, let no man put asunder. For as much as Jason and Michelle have consented together in holy wedlock and have witnessed the same before God in this company, have given the pledge and the troth by giving and receiving rings and by joining hands, by the power invested in me by the state of North Carolina and the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, I hereby pronounce you man and wife. Mm -hmm. You may kiss your wife.